Hello. I wanted to recap because so it's not the same day that I recorded the stuff that you're going to see on here. Um, so I wanted to give you some context. So last Thursday, um, Sam had a gig um, with his band, Goalie Washer, and I went to that. So I um, sat and watched him play and hang out. So um, I recorded some of that that I will share with you. And then um, yesterday, which was Friday, let's see, so that would have been, those Thursday was October 12th, and yesterday was October 13th, Friday the 13th. We had our friends um, Erica, Perry, um, Allison, and Nate over for a mead and chocolate and cheese tasting. It was super fun. Um, <laughs> and that went really well so I recorded some of that and it was just really fun and lovely so I've had a good last couple of days I've been working and doing those things and not getting enough sleep so that is that so I hope you enjoy seeing some of that Citrusy and subtle honeycomb flavor on the, to this style it's on the of meat. label. The label yeah. I feel like might be the it's best. It's really part beautiful. Of oh, okay, yeah, it is a it's pretty pretty. cool. Let's see it over here. For a second, I thought yeah, it was a that's cute. Yeah. The beat. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that is a really cute cool meat. label. Yeah. <laughs> Viking blood is the next offering. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from Balloon to Denmark. Where they follow the recipe originated in the 1700s? No, no. I think it was the year 1270 or something like that. Nope, nope, 1700. Uh, this particular mead is almost a liqueur. Mm -hmm. And it features a blend of hibiscus and hops flavor. Ooh. It gives it a darker color than most meads. It's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. they call it Viking. I remember blood. liking it quite a bit. Did I remember wait, like going and splurging and Erica being like, we can wait. And I was like, no, we're bringing it to the same. It's 19%. It's a high alcohol. This mead is uh, made in California from a, a winery founded in the 1960s. Mm. It uh, features... What's that say? It features raw honey in its recipe. Raw honey. Mm. Um, and nice it blends those raw honeys, which are made by bees, of course, mm -hmm. uh, from orange, alfalfa, and sage blossoms, mm. which they then combine to create the balanced flavor of Chaucer's meat. Mm. Lovely. I'm looking forward to it. Simply delightful. Wonderful. Indeed. This mead tasting okay. is the Honeywood mead, Honeywood. which is produced in Oregon. Uh, Honeywood is distilled from a white clover honey, um, which is specifically chosen for its clean, fresh, and floral qualities. Okay, now you should stand there looking just very like meaty, like a sommelier or something. Uh, <laughs> it like won't take a photo of okay. This meat is So thanks for spending some of your day with me and I will see you on tomorrow's vlog.